Malachi Burley, Gianna Jones, Bryson Jackson, Sir Derek Jones. They are part of what we call our TXL team, the Experience Lab team. They work on special projects. So if there's something that we're doing that's a little bit unique, we'll give it to them to work on. Malachi Burley, he's brilliant. Programming wise, he can figure out anything. Bryson Jackson is really good with augmented reality. Sir Derek Jones, he's really, really good at texture painting, 3D models. Jayana Jones is very artistic. She's also heavily into the metahuman stuff. A couple of things kind of prompted me to join this program. At first, I didn't know anything about it, and I was very surprised when I got here at Chauvin and there was something like this was very interested in it because even when I was young, I got an Xbox, I loved games. I first thought in my head, I want to make a game. It was like one of my first youngest desires, I would say that. Uh, some of the things that I'm doing in this class this year, we're working on 3D models, you know, modeling characters, modeling walls and st stuff like that. So, you know, put them in a game, put them or, or, or into a, um, a virtual set. We also are working on visual production. I went to Columbus for Skills, Skills USA from last year. It was a wonderful experience. They were like astounded by the, by the things that I brought there. Because almost, almost every other um, person who, who were brought there, they really couldn't, I'd say they, they couldn't compete with the things that I brought. Every bit of knowledge I had and talent that I showed them, I wouldn't have been there if I didn't come to this class. This is, a, this is a game that I've been, I, I've been working on since last, school, last, since last school year. I've, been, I've made this game using Unreal Engine. Unreal, Unreal Engine is a software that, that you can use to make games, but it also has a, a bunch more uses. You could use it in the, you could use it to make a visual, produ make a visual production set. Automakers are using this to design cars with. Architects are using this for house design. So there are unlimited uses for this program. In this application, you are building games to learn the program. This here is explaining, like I said, with the invisible uh, circle around your character. Mm -hmm. All this is checking is if there's any items overlapping that box. Anything in that box, it will be added to, added to a pile of things that your character can pick up around you. The end result of this would be the item that you that you just now picked up would be in your inventory, which the code for your character to even open and close the inventory it's here. Now, have more code in here, you would have to double click this this button to open it. Here is the rest. Of it. This line of code here basically it basically it explains. All of that it is doing, whenever you press, when you, whenever you press the um, the open inventory button, it opens up a widget, and it's adding it to the viewport and taking your plate and it's taking, it's taking your controller and allowing you to control what's ever on that widget. It'll allow you to press the buttons and close and open whatever you need to do inside the widget, and. On the bottom, the bottom line of code just does the opposite, just to close that same existing widget. I showed you the code. Now let me show show you how it works. Now you see that it, there's an item there's an item by your character, and as I said before, there's an there's an invisible there's an invisible circle around your character, and it checks if there's any items around you. And as you can see, there's an item around me, and it, and it appears on screen. You can see what it is and what it looks like. You press E to pick it up. It now disappears off the ground. It's in your inventory. You press Q, as I as I showed with the um, with the inventory code. You press Q to open your inventory. That now crystal line sword is now in your inventory. You're able to hover over it, and it will show you all of the stats and any other significant information about it. Well, the way this program is designed is the first year as juniors, they learn how to do programming and game design. 
Um, the game design's more or less learning how Unreal Engine works. Um, their senior year, they learn how to do 3D art and animation. Now, the reason we do that is we get to find out what skill sets each student has. Some will be really strong programmers, some are more artistic. And then once we can determine that, they start working together on projects where you'll have a couple art students working with a couple of the programming students and they'll create something. Um, the other thing that's really unique about this particular industry is a lot of the jobs are remote nowadays. So learning how to work with a team and work remotely with a team, that, that opens up opportunities for them where they're not just limited by the jobs that are available here in Youngstown, they're, the world is now their, their job market. Our mission here is opportunity. It's success for students. Um, you know, that, that is what education is all about from an institutional standpoint. It's my core you know, mission as an administrator here. You know, providing opportunities for students is one thing, but it's also providing an opportunity for growth at a regional, national uh, level for those industries that need our workers so bad. Yeah, when I'm like watching movies and playing video games, like I notice things that I would never usually see if I didn't know all this stuff that goes on behind the scenes. It's a very vast technical skill that we cover. Um, everything from programming all the way to audio and um, even video. We are doing things that other universities are, or other schools, but even universities are doing. So that's putting us in a position to where we could be early adopters, at least at an institutional level, um, to bring this opportunity to our students, give them a head start. When I graduate, I want to go to Full Sail University it's down in Florida. That's like the, that's where, that's like the biggest industry name for college in the nation. And uh, a lot of successful people have come out of Full Sail, actually. I think for me, the biggest thing that really excites me is when you see a student create that thing for the first time that gets them excited. And they may have been struggling with it for weeks, maybe even months, they couldn't figure it out, and all of a sudden they had that aha moment, and it all comes together, and you could just see them light up, and you know, it's the joy in that. It's, it, it's for me, that's the rewarding part of the job, is seeing them get to experience that for the first time. I see myself being in some type of tech job. I want to work at either Apple or like Microsoft, one of those big ones. Our students can walk out of our building and walk, work for Pixar and work for those uh, national um, you know, companies that, um, worldwide companies that, um, that provide that. Shopping has shot me through the roof.